Senator Rice and Senator Cody have decided to be combative and difficult. I, you know, I stand ready to work with them, as I always have. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, it is unprecedented for Senator Rice to be standing up and blocking now for a year. In, I think, eight or nine days, it'll be a year since I nominated Commissioner Cerf, who no one can quarrel with his qualifications, and who Senator Rice has given, by my count, five different reasons for blocking him, none of which are valid, none of which are connected with him being the Commissioner of Education. Um, and, you know, Senator Rice turns this into, like, street talk. He's not going to be bullied. He's like, you know, this isn't about that. I, the governor is entitled to his cabinet as long as that cabinet is qualified. Uh, fact of the matter is um, they know how this works. We did this in Bergen County. did this in Passaic County. When we have an entire package of nominees that we all agree upon that represent compromise for all of us, we'll move all of them at once. Uh, I've learned this game now, Angie. You know, when you deal with the State Senate on nominations, it's all transactional. When they're ready to come with a complete package, I'm ready to go. And maybe you guys can then go to them and say, why would you block this person? We have someone like Eve Slater, who is a former Assistant Secretary of Health and Human Services at the national level, who's willing to serve in a non-paid capacity as a board member at UMDNJ. You think they could use somebody with that talent? She's been sitting around for hundreds of days waiting to be confirmed because they won't sign off. What's their rationale? 